Well, cigarette sales continue to fall because of the high cost and health reasons, but in Denver, pipe smoking is becoming a big business. In fact, one shop has seen their sales double. And as Dan DeRue shows us, it's hard for them to keep the pipes in stock. It was very popular with the greatest generation and 1950s college fraternities. And now it's making a comeback. It truly is. You know, I think what's happening is a college generation is turned off of cigarettes. And they want to do something that is, is more or less traditional. They say what's old is new again. But why pipes? The pipes are something that go back a long way. You think of Douglas MacArthur, and you think of all the famous people that had pipes in the old days. And there is a certain tradition again to that. With a 75% increase in pipe and pipe tobacco sales from last year, tobacco shop owner David Tewksbury thinks the big draw is... Sitting on the back porch with a pipe in the evening and maybe a cocktail, it's just something that just is making and forcing people to relax after the stress of the day. And I think it may have more to do with the, sort of the company than it does anything else. Uh, again, one of my best friends and I like to sit and, and smoke our pipes and talk. A financial substitute for cigarettes, pipes are not. Got your entry level pipe, $30. Got your lighter, 20 bucks. So pipe cleaner, $3. Your tobacco, $12. And a case to keep the whole thing about 30 bucks out the door, about $100 with tax. You know, it's not cheap. In fact, pipes can be an expensive venture because once you get into them, what do you want to do but add to your collection? Andrew Fox, 31 News. And